when it, when the meter expires, you get a ticket, right? Yeah. If you don't, so ha using a parking meter, you put your money in the parking meter. It's kind of like a giant piggy bank, but some of the parking meters now, you can take a credit card and just swipe it, and it will take money from your bank. So if you use a parking meter, you can only stay in a parking space for a certain amount of time. So I have some music parking meters today, and the parking these music parking meters will tell you how long you can stay in a musical parking lot. A musical parking lot is a measure. Now I have th I have three types of parking meters. And parking meter is four over a quarter note. The top number tells you that you can stay in the musical parking lot for four steady beats. Now, look at the second parking meter. Just tell me, how many steady beats or how long can you stay in a musical parking lot? Just tell me. Three. 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 Okay. Look at the third parking meter, the bottom. How many beats or how many steady beats can you stay in a musical parking lot? Two. So we have the top numbers. The top numbers of our meter, these are musical meters or time signatures, tell you how long you can stay in a musical parking lot. The quarter note at the bottom tells you that the quarter note keeps the steady beat. Another way of showing meter is this, a musical meter. God bless you. 4 over 4, we have 3 over 4, and we have 2 over 4. Now, those of you who take piano lessons already know this. We have three meters, 4, 4, 3, 4, and 2, 4. The top number of each meter tells you how long you can stay in a musical parking lot. Now, what's a musical parking lot without having a car? So, my musical parking lot... This car is going to go with the meter over 4-4 four, four because you have how many steady beats in that musical parking lot? Four. four. Can you see the four quarter notes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then we have our three, and then we have two. two. Now, this is going to be icky, sticky, tricky. I'm going to give these rhythm cards out. And just some just somebody take. Just take a rhythm card. Rhythm card. Rhythm card. Rhythm. Some rhythms are two steady beats. Some are three. Remember for the for the two eighth okay. Remember for the two eighth notes? Two eighth notes, that's a steady beat cut in half. Okay. I have two more. Okay. Oh I got one. You need one? Okay, if you don't have one, that's okay. There might be another time you can do this. All right, I need, <coughs> I need you to look at your cards. Let's, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Let's look at 2-4. Our musical parking lot says that you can only stay, or our meter tells you that you can only stay in the musical parking lot. I would like someone to come up and bring a musical parking lot, a measure that shows two steady beats. Bring your card up to me. Okay, let's see if we're right. And we are correct. I need another card. Our meter is 3-4. I need a musical parking lot that shows three steady beats. Oh, this is correct. This is correct. And let's see. Well, let's look at this one. It looks like we have three steady beats. But what's happening on this card? Just tell me. What do you think? Four. Why? I don't have the quiet. No. Because it has a musical stop sign. Okay, so let's swap. Who had that one? Me. We'll swap that one out. Okay, so. You could scoot one over. I could scoot one over. So the car can park here in this musical parking lot because we have three beats. The second steady beat is quiet. The car can park here. And then his time is up. Let's count to three. One, two, three. The car has to move. Let's count to three. 